You're probably familiar with the, uh, the color correction tools that are found inside of Sony Vegas software. But did you know that the secondary color corrector can be used either as a color correction tool or as a mask to let other things show through? It's really quite simple. Let's have a look at how to use the secondary color corrector and how to use it as a mask. We've got a piece of footage playing here and it's got some bright orange. I think I'm going to stop right there on that frame where we've got the bright orange. Let's grab our secondary color corrector and drag it down onto the frame. Now we're going to select effect range. You can see the small button here, select effect range. And let's go in and dial in on the orange of this shirt. There we go, we've got it, but we don't know exactly what's been selected. So let's click on the show mask button there and the show mask button allows us to adjust this and we can change how much of that that orange is being grabbed. So let's just uh, grab that, smooth that out. Let's limit our saturation just a little bit so that we've got more of the orange kind of showing through. Not quite so much there. And we can control all of this and maybe even smooth that out just a little bit and make sure we don't get any face tones happening. Great, so now we've got all of our orange sections selected. So let's uh, unclick show mask. And of course we don't see that anything's changed there, but watch what happens uh, when we start to uh, play the video file back or as we play that file back. Let's move this off to the side here. There we go. So ready? Let's start to flip that around. Maybe we want to take those shirts and change them more to purple or magenta or a little bit more red in them or maybe less red, a little bit more green. So we can change the colors of those shirts. But additionally, we can turn that mask on just like this and then invert the mask and play something else underneath the video. So let's go ahead and leave that running for just a second. And we'll just put some, uh, some generated media down here. Put in a noise texture. I really like working with noise textures because there's so much that we can do with these. So let's, uh, let's grab camouflage, that's always a, a fun one. We'll drop it down so that it's on the underside here. And look, we can see the camouflage showing through right there. But more than anything, now you can see exactly how to change certain colors as well using the, the secondary color corrector. So let's purple those up a little bit. And there we go, just like that. So that everything is, is left exactly where it is, except for the colors that we want. So now we've taken all the color out, and there you have it. So there's another fast tip from Vast. Stay tuned for more.